In this video, I'm going to show a few ways to extract pages from a multi-page PDF. The first way that I'm going to show assumes that you do not have a paid subscription for Adobe Acrobat Pro. On my screen here, I have a PDF open, and you can see I have it opened in Adobe Acrobat Reader, which is the free version. I'm going to go ahead and find some pages that I want to extract. I'm going to use the pages that have a picture of this little adapter here, so pages 10, 11, and we'll throw in page 12 as well. And I'm not actually going to use Acrobat Reader to extract the pages, so I'm going to go ahead and close out of Reader here. To extract the pages from the PDF, I'm going to use Google Chrome. You can download Google Chrome for free at google.com slash chrome. And once it's installed, you should be able to right click on the PDF and select Open With and click on Google Chrome. Then to extract the pages that we want, you can just hover over the toolbar at the top here, click on Print. As destination, select Save as PDF. For pages, change it to Custom. And then the pages that we want were pages 10 through 12. Click on Save. And we'll just give it a name, 10 through 12, and say Save. All right, so now if I go back to my downloads here and open up the new file we just created, we can see that it is just the pages 10 through 12 of the manual. Now I'm going to show how to perform that same function if you're using the paid version of Adobe Acrobat Pro. There's a couple different ways to do it, but my favorite is to click on Tools and then click on Organize Pages. Acrobat Pro allows you a little bit more flexibility in how you extract the pages. So I'm going to click on page 10 here and then hold down the Control key on the keyboard to select page 11 as well as page 15 with this orange square and page 19 with this green square. Then up at the top toolbar here, click on Extract. It gives you the option to delete the pages after extracting if you want to remove them from the original PDF, as well as to extract each page as a separate file. I'm going to leave both of those unchecked and just click on Extract. And it automatically takes me to the extracted pages. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out a little bit here, and we can see that these are the four pages that we selected. And from there you can just say Save and put them somewhere give them a name and now if I go to that folder we have a file with just the pages that we extracted that's pretty much it for this video hit like if this helped you out and thanks for watching